Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we made y'all a promise on last night, and today we are delivering on that promise. We said we'd be back. Yeah. Ain't y'all glad we're back? Listen, y'all have been enjoying the heck out of y'all selves when we did the recap of episodes one through five. We appreciate y'all. Y'all yeah. getting it in in the comment section. Yes, I indeed. See. Yes, indeed. And then I also see, see, this is why we love doing reviews. Because sometimes we can introduce a new show to you all, and then y'all get excited about it. So I've seen so many people say, listen, from last night to today, I'm caught up. I'm like, y'all yep. doing? Yeah, that was quick. <laughs> some people that was like, listen... I fell off, but because y'all reviewing it, I'll be back with it. <laughs> listen, that that's what we do. That's our pleasure. Yes, indeed. But listen, okay. When we left off on episode number five, right, we saw that the um the father, the Baxter father, has gotten the news that listen, your son, although okay, what he did was noble, he killed the wrong dude. So Kofi Jones wasn't the guy <laughs> that ran, hit and ran over your son. So now this week, we see the father calculating and trying to figure this whole thing out. Because you know when we left off, he had went over there to the gas station. Yep. And old boy had showed him like, yeah, dude right there in the newspaper. That's who came by. Told him everything. God, told him. You know, and he erased my <laughs> videotapes. He did all that stuff. So now we see that old Baxter though, ended up over there at the judge's house. Me and my husband sat like, there the whole like, time. I was like, like, so. Like, what kind of locks you got on your door? You ain't got no security system. Uh, yeah. So he in there eating up their good grapes, playing with their dog, taking a leak in their toilet, running up their good water bill, <laughs> up in there taking pictures and, and, and leaving them on, um, on the pillow. On the pillow, yep. To let them know, like, I've been in your house looking through your stuff. And then he saw an inhaler. I said. Is the name going to be on it? Because, you know, we used to good black people. We like to leave our name on all our scriptions. Yep. So I was like, where, where the name at on the inhaler? <laughs> we ain't seen none of that going on. I said, some parts of this skit, y'all need to... See, y'all need but some... You know, but you know he got that for DNA purposes. So he can... I know, so he can match it up. Yeah, but I don't think he going to do it, though. But here's my thing. I'm jumping ahead of myself. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to talk about it. So, now we have the judge, Judge Michael... Judge Michael now is trying to figure out who it is that's trying to blackmail him, who's trying to get this hush money out of him. So he's um, meeting with the police officer. I can't remember her name. What's her name, Sal? I can't remember her name right now. Y'all know what yeah. you're talking about. The one that we've... She's going to be a problem. Yeah. Because she loves Judge Michael, but at the same time... She digging into it a lot. She digging into his tail. But he the one to put her on it, though. He did. Yeah, he the one to put her on the case, so... So we see that he's meeting with her to, um, at a little diner or whatnot. And my husband said it. He said, that guy don't judge me thinking on his he freaking definitely, feet. He definitely quick on his feet. So he's telling her this story about how there was a case <laughs> yeah. that he had. And it's just, you know, every now and then you'll get a case that just won't leave you alone. And he was like, this girl was messing with this guy. And the guy was starting to put hands and touch her and different stuff like that. Long story short, he was like... When, um, because the story was that the woman got in trouble when she finally defended herself Stuff against this husband. abusive guy. Yeah. And when she got out, she didn't have anything because the guy just took everything from her. And he was like, I still remember the license plate, just part of it, of what she, she had provided me. And he said, and sometimes I just think about if I can figure out who is behind this license plate? Mm -hmm. I'll be able to help her get back on her feet. You know what the license plate is, right? <laughs> license plate came from the surveillance tape from yeah. the gas station, station. Yep. of the car that's behind his son's car when he stole that gas. So he's trying to figure out who it is that's trying to blackmail him. But he can only make out certain um, amount of numbers and letters on the license plate. So he tells the tells this cop that knowing Nancy, that's her name. Nancy, Nancy, yeah. Knowing that Nancy has her laptop right there, all she got to do is punch in those few numbers. Yeah, and it's gonna come and up. it's gonna pull anything that's in those sequences. Exactly. And she said, "Well, I can do that right now. Pull up about five people and see who has a criminal background and all this good stuff." And I bet you one of them is dirty. So she did that. Nobody was dirty. So Judge Michael was like. You know, people like that learn how to skate below the law. Yeah. You know, how to keep their nose clean, how to do just enough to 
to still do what they want to do without being caught by the system. And she was like, yeah, maybe you're right. And then he was like, you think you can hey, give me no, no. any of that information? And she was like, this is, these are just private citizens. Yeah. I'm not. And but then he, he manipulated go, again. He manipulated the hell out. He was like. He was like, you uh, know I'm what? A, I'm a hypocrite. I'm a I'm hypocrite. A, I'm a judge. And then I'm over here trying to get you to give me information. I'm not. She said, you know what? I have to go to the bathroom. Watch my stuff. <laughs> Which means I'm not going to give you the information, but if you take my laptop and turn it around and get the information, it's on you. But at, but at first, though, I thought that Nancy would be able to take him down. Me too. But, but, at, this, she but at this point, she in because she's she done a whole lot of stuff that ain't she ain't supposed to do. So, so if she'd be like, if she figure out that he did it, he can be like, well, you helped me. I mean, you gave me the license. Plate. Yeah, you gave me all the information. So, so now we see that he has the information that he needs to figure out who in the world is trying to blackmail him out of this like two hundred thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, or something like that. Two hundred twenty-two thousand. Oh yeah. Yeah. So he ends up at the first address. No go. But now we see that he's also being tailed by the Baxter family's hitman. And you don't see him. And he don't see him. So he finally ended up at this retirement home acting like he was with this nonprofit that was delivering fresh um, fruits and vegetables to someone that lived there. Because he's trying to figure out who's behind this yep. Toyota Camry. So he ended up in this apartment with this man who has dementia. He thinks he's somebody else, yeah, and yeah. he's just talking. He's like, no, 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 no. Why don't you stay a while? You just got yeah, here. Yeah. How is Tampa? Like, he's just having this whole conversation with this man with dementia. And then the man with dementia started getting to him because he started talking about family mm -hmm. and how he has this son, son. that came out. What did he say? A back. Ass first. first. <laughs> and he was like, he came out and he was giving us trouble before he got here. Yep. And he's giving us trouble now. And he stole my Toyota camera yeah. and just said, huh. So is he So is he a troublemaker? He said he's yeah, still yeah, a troublemaker to this day. <laughs> so now, because the judge was getting ready to leave, like, okay, old man, this yeah. ain't him. But the son, the son is behind it all. So he told old man, he said, why don't we go take a ride? I said, where you about to we well, gonna take him to, yeah. So he puts him in the wheelchair and starts wheeling him out the door. He said, hold on, wait a minute, I forgot something. So then he starts going through his mail. Mm -hmm. And he found the son's address. Yep. So, okay, I said, all right, so he about to tell, um, give old boy a visit. Well, he it didn't quite work out like that. Homeboy is an Uber driver. Mm -hmm. So the judge ended up getting a ride in the Uber with him because he saw, I guess he was some kind of way he was tracking him down. And he saw where he was dropping off another person. And he just knocked on the windows like, I tried to get my app to work. It won't work. I got $50. Just take me up the street. I said, first of all, that's sus as hell. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's like a setup to be murdered. Yeah. You know. Off, if, off the grid. You, you know, you off, off the grid. grid. Yeah. They don't know who you picked up. Exactly. But you know, sometimes when that money is talking, you just do uh -huh. what you got to do. Uh -huh. So homeboy, so the judge gets in the back seat and he's asking um, the driver, say, you know, you know, how's your night? What are you into? And he saw that he had this like little fishing, um, I can't remember what you call it, um, bait thing. Yeah. In his rear view mirror, he was like, oh, you like fishing? He said, that's something I wanted to get into. Long story short, through this conversation, he realized that this guy is blackmailing him for, for what? He wants a boat. He got a boat. <laughs> he wants a boat. Really? Yeah. This 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 what he's blackmailing him about. So I really thought that the judge was going to off him right then and there. Because you know this is your dude. Yeah. The amount of money that you said you needed for the boat matches up with the amount of money that he he's he need, asking yeah. from you. This is your guy. But he went ahead and he said, you know, stop right here. Let me get out. And he slipped something in the back of his seat. Long story short, homeboy started driving and something's buzzing. But he has another passenger Passion. in the car uh -huh. at this point. He was like, are you going to get your phone or not? She said, this ain't my yeah, phone. No. This in your car. Answer the phone and Judge Michael was like, listen, meet me at the dock. Yep. I'll have your money. Come on arm. Blah, blah, blah. I said, oh, so this okay. is how we go. This is how you going So I said, him. now the judge is fitting off him at the marina. That that's was what, what I thought. Do. Yeah. That's what I thought. Let's go back a little bit. Remember I told y'all that old son Adam is getting real close to the Baxter 
sister. The he daughter. got a, he just he just got a death wish on his life. He just he just want to go to jail. He want to die. I, th- he just pisses me the fuck off, man. Adam has to go. <laughs> he ain't had no asthma attack ever since he killed that boy. No. So he's riding with this girl. They having real good conversation, and they really are bonding in a unique and an organic way. If you just but didn't in a kill, dangerous way, yeah. Though. If you just didn't kill her brother, yeah. But the brother that she's talking to you about, uh, how she said a part of her died. You are the one who did this. You did it. She's taking him to abandoned um, amusement um, parks. parks. Yeah. They in there screaming and hollering. I guess mm-hmm. that's scream therapy. It's a real thing. Google it. Yep. So they're having scream therapy sessions. And she was like, you know what? I think you might be good enough to bring home to meet my family. And I'm like, oh, I'm shit. Lying. I'm flying. I'm flying. I don't. <laughs> Adam, I don't know. If not a good working. idea. Not a good idea at all. So she goes home and the dad is realizing that there's something different about this daughter because the daughter is one of those ones. She always walked around like, mm, whatever. She don't give a flying flip. Every time they would nothing. ask her about who she wants to be with, she's always say, I'm, I'm a, a lesbian. lesbian. <laughs> you know, so all of a sudden she has this new, uh, about She got herself. this glow. She excited about life now. So the dad is saying, who is he? And she was like, he's he's good, Dad. His name is Adam. He's like, Adam who? I said, don't say the last name. I was like, first of all, why in the hell did you give her your real name? Real name. No. Real name. And um, she was like, we don't really know each other like that. And I said, well, what does his father do? Dad, we don't really... I'm I just, him, I just bring, just him, bring over. him over. See, we talked to him man to man. I was <sighs> like, and you know what? I got a feeling that that dumb son of a gun gonna is going to go, gonna go he over gonna there. Go. He going to go. He going to go. So eventually, they end up getting together again. And this fool let this girl drive him almost, almost. all the way home. Yep. <laughs> but listen, let me tell you what was happening in front of the house. And this is where I thought that the lies were going to be crossed and all this skit mm-hmm. was going to blow up. You have the bachelor family, the, the dad and the hitter, sitting in the car, sitting outside the judge's house. Adam is in the car with the daughter, get ready to pull up. She wants to pull him up to the front of the house. He was like, no, 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 I'm not ready for that yet. Just drop me off around the, the corner, corner and I'll walk home. She actually did listen to him and dropped him off around the corner. So he walked up on the sidewalk. It went into the house. They were about to go in the house and off all of them. Yep. But for some reason, they didn't. You see their car right here, and you see her car just go like this. Because at first, I thought I thought, I, thought, thought, I, I thought the daddy had seen her when she pulled off. He didn't see her. But I don't know if you get ready to talk about when, when Michael came home and he saw all the pictures and stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah. You, yeah you. So, yeah. Judge Michael came home. <clears throat> and I'm still trying to figure out nothing... I know he knows, but this is not the reaction that nah. you should be having. He comes home. The photographs are moved around. They're rearranged. Yep. Clue number one. And then he goes upstairs and he finds the photo that was taken in the house of the dog. Yep. And you, know, no, and you know nobody went home all day. And he's still sitting around like, Wait, hmm. you still in the house? Hmm. You, you staying around? So that's when Adam came home and he ended up making this mustardy S- freaking sandwich. S- I said, how much mustard is he going to put on that sandwich? Yeah. So. Because in real life, we would have packed off all our skit that day and we would have been gone because we know that the person know because it would have been in my house. So let's go over to the jail. Because y'all know at the jail, that's where the mm-hmm. Baxter, what's, what is his name? Carlos? Carlos. Like, either Carlos Carlo or Carlos. Carlos. Carlos yeah. Baxter had killed off Kofi Jones in the jail. Mm. So the lawyer is over there at the jail and she's holding interviews like, what did you hear? Um, what have your cellmates been talking about? Finally, she found this one guy who just, they tr- they stacked a lot of charges on this guy for pretty much just carjacking. Just carjacking, yeah. So she was like, I can make your stuff go away. I charge $1,000 per hour. I can do it for $1,000 less. But you need to tell me what you know. And he pretty much said, listen, mm-hmm. What had happened was, ba 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 ba, dag on um, no, what's the name? Baxter, Carlos Baxter, was the one who did it. Next thing we know, we heard guards yelling, screaming. But, but I started thinking that Kofi she did. I thought 
started thinking that she was a freaking amateur lawyer because I'm yeah. like, you want them guys to snitch. And they got to live here. Yeah, they got to live there, but I never heard her offer them nothing. Nothing. Especially the until, first guy. Until him. Until him. Until him. Yeah. So now she has the evidence to go and look into the DNA that was found on Kofi Jones's body. If that DNA is that of Carlos Baxter, then we got a problem, Houston. Yep. All right? Keep that in mind. Yeah. So now we have the judge going over there to the, to the marina. Because now, what? I'm going to deliver on my promise. I said, I'm going to bring you the money. Meet me at the marina. Don't come armed. We can see that old boy, the Uber driver, is walking up on his car. But then the lawyer calls him to tell him, listen, we got it. Yeah. Kofi Jones's murder was done by Carlos Baxter. He was like, listen, I got to call you back. <laughs> listen, while y'all at it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like what you hear so far. Hey, and might as well. And go ahead and rate the video. Thumbs up or thumbs down. At this point, it don't even matter. You know you already been counted hey. at this point. But listen. So she, so he blows off the lawyer and was like, I have to call you back. The Uber driver gets up and he takes him to the boat that he is in love, love with. with. He yep. said, so you bought me the boat? And I was like, Judge, did you just, did you just buy him a boat? Like, no. The no, judge said, no. No. He said, listen, what I do know is if I were to give you money, wow. mm -hmm. you, you will never be satisfied. Yeah, you keep gonna that. Keep That's exactly back. what I was thinking, too. He said, so what I'm going to do is I leased it. Yeah. And as long as you keep your mouth shut and don't I'll... come after me and my family and all of this goes away, I'll keep making the payments. But the moment that you decide you want to turn on me, I will not make another payment on this boat. And you yep. have to go back to your lousy life of driving the Uber. Yep. I said, judge if you. I said, God darn boy, if you ain't man, if you ain't thinking on your feet, God darn boy, it's like yeah. So I was like, okay, so now now we get to depart and we can figure the rest of this skit out. So we thought. <laughs> they walking in between these boats, and next thing we know, we see the Baxter father and the hitter. They'll pull both of them into yep. the darkness, and they pretty much was like, we about to off y'all right now. Mm -hmm. And then the judge was like, your son, your son, son. killed Kofi Jones. And what's going to happen is he's going to end up in front of me. And I can make all of that go, go away. away. But you can't, I can't make it go away if you, you kill me. Mm -hmm. He was like, huh? He was like, huh? Huh? <laughs> and he knows that his son killed Kofi Jones. So he knows that what he's saying is true. Yep. So they look over there at the Uber driver and the father was like, so what does he know? He know everything. <laughs> I said, Judge, did you just say I knew it. I knew it. He you know everything. Let, you just let this man take care of your yep. problem. Yep. Come exactly. Back to the man looked at the guy and said, well, that's a problem. That's a problem. Bow. Bow. So the judge's problem with the little black male. Yep. That's it's gone. gone away. That's gone. And that's where we ended at with this episode. I don't know where the hell we're going to go from here. Yeah, because I'm trying to figure out because um, I did check. I think it's going to be 10, 10 episodes in this season. So I'm like, after it all pans out, how, yeah, what are we going, what are we going from? Yeah. What else can be different, you know? And this is what I told my husband. I was like, okay, so the Baxter um, father been sitting outside the house, casing the house, inside the house. He knows that there is a teenage son that lives in the house. Why would you automatically think that it was the father that hit your son? Yeah. I mean, if you really want to go through and figure things out, he was probably at work at that time where your son was ran over or hit. But you ain't thinking nothing like that when you when try you, when, when you, you try trying to, when you trying to um bring closure or get revenge on something oh, that happened to you. I yeah, almost you forgot a really important part, Big Mo. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we have the son, uh, the Baxter family son, the oldest one, the one that killed them, Carlos. Carlos yeah. or Carlos, whatever his name is. Baxter. Now that he's out, he, 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 see, this will piss me off about people that don't have to do what they do, but they just do it because they can. He gets out and the first thing he wants to do is become a large drug dealer. Yeah, again. he won't be a So he, he want to start distributor. distributing fentanyl patches and different mm -hmm. things like that. And we see that the mother knows that he's up to no good, but in true mom to son fashion. She gonna let him do whatever the fuck he want. She was like, I'll give you your space. You do what you need to do. And so next thing we know, we see Carlos standing in front of Big Mo. And was like, I got this, I got that, but it's gonna cost you, what was it, 200000 or 150000 150000 something like that, yeah. And so she gets her dude to just put a, a duffel bag on the table. 
And he was like, but I don't have no product with me. She was like, I know where to find your Lily YA if I need to find yeah. you. So he's supposed to be coming back with product. And I'm like, Big Mo, why are you doing business with the Baxter family's son? And you already told the father, listen, if you want a war, we could create a war. And then and when she's starting the war. And then by when doing she business left, with the son. Her, her, her dude said, why, why would you do that? And she said, what she said, divide? Yeah, divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. That's what I'm going to do. Because you know, because you know she fitting to tell Jim or Jimmy, however you want to say it, that she doing business with him. Because she knows she know he he ain't fitting to make that right oh, no. with Kofi. No. 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 I said, well, I be God doing. Yeah, this is a good God doing show. This it is. is. I'm so glad we picked this up. Yeah. But in any, <laughs> any storyline where you have a good guy that got to do bad things, it's, it's going to be good. And typically, typically the storyline with this is typically a mom looking out for the son. So this is a little different that the dad is doing this for a son. Because typically dads be like, he's like in gone. the beginning when he wanted like, you, you taking your tail to jail. But now that the, the, the backs is involved, we got hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah. We'll see y'all on next week where we pick this back on up where we left off. Yes, and indeed. The, BA. the dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Ooh.